Hi, welcome to Paul's workshop. This is part two of my homemade V-drum sander. I've added the top and the bottom since then and I've also trued the discs. So this is my drum. I'm built with uh, 25 3 quarter inch MDF discs. I've trued it using uh, sandpaper uh, double sided taped onto a, uh, onto a piece of plywood. Uh, works very well there now. Added my top on, uh, cut out my hole. Um, it's hinged at the back and um, the bottom as well. Uh, the bottom, uh, I, I had to extend the front of it because I noticed that the weight of the motor uh, made the box tip towards the front. So this is four inch overhang at the bottom and now it's very solid and it's not moving. Uh, the top only has two inch overhang just for, uh, that's what I originally planned. So now all that's left now is for me to take my um, Velcro adhesive uh, uh, strips and put them on my drum uh, and get some sandpaper. Now I've uh, looked all over the Ottawa area for some sandpaper. I cannot find any of the self-adhesive Velcro, um, uh, the Velcro type of rolls of sandpaper. The only place I found them is online uh, and they're near um, Niagara Falls area. So, as you can see, this thing still uh, still runs very well. All I have left to do now, uh, as I said, besides attaching the sandpaper, is to drill a hole at the back uh, that I can uh, put in my shop vac uh, vacuum and suck out the dust. I've also added some little quarter inch plywood end caps here just to block the top uh, hole so it seals uh, nice and flat. So um, other than that, it works great. I might put a piece of melamine on top or maybe just some, uh, some aluminum uh, just to make it slide easier for the wood. But that's it so far and I'll let you know uh, once it's completed and I'll be making my first uh, cutting board with this.